and piercing stretch mark that goes all the way up. Um, makes it look like I have heart surgery. I've had heart surgery. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, but either way, it's oh. like um, <laughs> it's it's badass either way. Also, a tribute to like how the body can like cr- like stretch to like have another human or two. I had twins at one point inside you, and then like to shrink back down again. And so, like, <laughs> um, if we were able to like look at the natural. Mm, yeah. Um, things that our body has that would normally be considered ugly and to like maybe take a twist on how you look at it then Hmm. you know maybe accepting yourself like I said yeah I had to go through like these different like acceptance points for myself throughout my entire life and so that was one of the things that I had to like learn to deal with was like yeah not everything's going to be the same, but, um, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world either. And there are, you know, while some of these things may be destructive to my body, I'm still going to dye my hair. I'm still going to paint my nails. I'm still going to wear makeup and I'm probably still going to get a boob job, you know? (laughs) Yeah. And like, that's, that's the thing that, is kind of hard to grapple with, honestly. Like, you know, especially as someone who identifies female, like, I have a, I have a strong urge to tell people, you know, like, fuck the man, you know, look how you want to look. Um, but I feel like with that mindset, there's kind of an inherent lean toward, like, be more natural. Don't alter yourself. Accept yourself and love yourself the way that you are. And I do think that, like, that type of messaging of just acceptance and love for who you are naturally is something that is largely missing from, like, the conversation that we have about beauty culturally. Like, like I said before, like, the entire point of the beauty industry is to sell you things. And the only way that, the, the most effective way, I should say, to sell you beauty products is to convince you that there's something wrong with you in the first place, and therefore you have to fix it. So, like, I have this this urge to tell people like you're wonderful the way you are don't change anything but conversely like if you want to change something i think you should be able to change something like it's your body it's the way that you look anybody should be able to make their own decisions about what how they want to modify you know them themselves themselves, not other people right (laughs) exactly if you want to modify yourself as a way to like you know be more of the person that you identify yourself as, Right. then that is amazing. But don't try and force other people to live up to your own, like, standards of what they should and shouldn't look like, yeah. I think. And also, like, again, let's not break little kids' feet anymore. Right, yeah. And, like... Like, let's not, let's not break little kids' bones anymore. Yeah, I would not do violence to children. <laughs> that seems like... <laughs> Can we agree on that? (laughs) Um, But also, like, if you have a desire to modify your body, I think it is worth considering where your, where those motivations come from, you know? Um, Because a lot of us, like, did have violence done to us as children, whether that was in the form of, you know, somebody literally, like, doing bodily violence to you, um, or just constantly getting the message that you are not okay you're not enough Mm -hmm. you know you are not beautiful the way that you are um and it can be very difficult to really pick apart as an adult whether your motivations are due to what comes from your heart or what people have told you about yourself but that's the kind of investigation that i think is often really worth doing um but you know by all means folks if you want to get freaking if you want to get butt implants and like one of those, like, wild, uh, extremely long, like, manicures with, like, things dangling off the tip of them, or if you want to shave your head, or if you want to dye your hair, or if you want to, like, put 20 tattoos on your face, like, get it, you know? Do do what makes you feel like the best version of yourself. Uh, we just, you know, we want, we want to point out that 
I guess being blonde and blue-eyed with the perfect size breast and the perfect size waist and the perfect hip-to-waist ratio is not the only way to be beautiful. And, you know, we're all, we're all working toward really actually believing that. Um, but it's hard because we really have literally been taught that that's the way to be. Like, I often think of absolutely um, Marilyn Monroe, right? She's mm-hmm. very often held up as, like, the ideal American beauty. Blondes, you know, big eyes. I don't, did she have blue eyes? I don't remember. She might have had brown eyes. Can't recall. Um, you know, perfect hourglass figure. She was so beautiful. But she had extremely low self-esteem most of her life. And part of that is due to the fact that... Um, I think it was her foster mother, possibly her adoptive mother, I don't remember the legalities there, kicked her out of her house when she was a teenager because she was too pretty. And she was afraid that her husband was going to go after her. And, like, I feel like that right there is the double-edged sword of beauty standards. Like, you can be literally the most beautiful woman in the world, and you're still not doing it right. Right. So... Love yourself, do what you need to do to make you the best version of yourself that you want to be, that you feel like you are, you know. But also remember that beauty is not decolonized, quote, unquote, yet. Yeah. That that there are people out there who have violent reactions to them trying to be the best versions of themselves, no matter what. Yeah. Whether it be the color of your skin, whether it be wanting to wear like a dress over, you know, a pair of pants or, you know, it, there's like actual consequences happening to people out mm-hmm. in the real world right now because of the fact that we can't accept that they know for themselves what's best for themselves. Right. <sighs> well, here we are and we're depressed and we probably <laughs> need to wrap it up. Obviously, there are, like, multiple other episodes within this topic that we are probably going to come back to multiple times. Uh, But until we do that, we invite you to come back for our next episode, which is going to be about gender roles in ancient Rome uh, and how those affect our gender roles in America today. Uh, Featuring Jenny Williamson of Ancient History Fangirl, which is one of my favorite podcasts. In case you couldn't tell, I'm a little bit of a history nerd, so I'm really, really excited for that. I am super stoked too. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited. Let's do that. Uh, and that has been this episode of our hour and a quarter ish gasm. <laughs> and Lenny, by the way, you're beautiful. No, oh, thank you. I know you're welcome. <laughs> yes, that is the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ciao, everybody. We'll see you next time. Let our love be a flame, not an ember. Say it's me that you want to dismember. Blacken my eye, set fire to my tie as we dance to the masochism tango. At your command, before you here I stand, my heart is in my hand. Ugh. It's here that I must be My heart entreats Just hear those savage beats And go put on your cleats And come and trample me Your heart is hard as stone or mahogany That's why I'm in such exquisite agony My soul is on fire It's a flame with desire Which is why I perspire when we tango You caught my nose In your left castanet Love, I can feel the pain yet love Every time I hear drums And I envy the rose That you held in your teeth, love With the thorns underneath, love Sticking into your gums Your eyes cast a spell that bewitches 
The last time I needed 20 stitches To sew up the gash That you made with your lash As we danced to the masochism tango Bash in my brain And make me scream with pain Then kick me once again And say we'll never part I know too well I'm underneath your spell So darling if you smell Something burning it's my heart Excuse me. Take your cigarette from its holder and burn your initials in my shoulder. Fracture my spine and swear that you're mine as we dance to the massacre. Kiss some tango.